Hi guys. It is a freaking gorgeous today and I've got an hour to kill and I could use that hour to be super productive, get some shopping done, run some errands, exercise. But no, instead I'm going to sit in this really weird little bit of grass. I'm sat next to a supermarket basically, they've got a bit of grass but it's not right near Sam's activity. And I'm going to sit outside in the sun and I'm going to try and MacGyver together some ways to do my nails. I want to see how much different it looks doing my nails in the daylight. So it's more about the location and the technicalities of it all rather than what actual art I put on my nails today. Don't expect miracles. Alright then, back to voiceover. It was a spur of the moment plan to decide to go and do my nails today outside, but for some reason I always seem to have nail polish in my bag. I started by cleaning off the gunk from my last lot of nail art. Because my finger went right in the pot of nail polish remover, I used lots of nail oil to stop my fingers drying out too much. I then put on a base coat, just a normal bog standard, all-in-one base coat. The first polish, different dimensions, slay your own dragons, so hollow, so gorgeous. And the second one, Native War Paints, called Sir Didymus. I bought it for the name first and the colour second, but the colour is gorgeous. I started off by putting on the Slay Your Own Dragons colour, as I felt that would be a better base. The polish felt really thick today, so it went on really easily in just one coat, which was fantastic. But then I realised I hadn't actually brought any gear with me to do any clean-up, so my very sloppy application remained sloppy throughout. Once the colour was done, I put on a quick drying top coat. My plan was that I was going to use striping tape and peeling that off and I didn't want to risk it peeling any of the glitter polish off. Here is the striping tape, it's just a general goldy kind of colour, pinky goldy, I don't know. It's not a colour I like much anyway, but I got it in a bundle. My next roadblock was how the hell to cut bits of striping tape when I didn't bring anything with me to cut striping tape. It pulls a surprising amount before it breaks, hence the very, very long bits of striping tape on my nails. It's also why I didn't film it, I was too busy trying to actually get it to break in half with wet nails. I went for a simple crisscross design because I didn't have the energy to try anything more complicated. And while the sun is gorgeous, I could barely see what I was doing. It was just too bright and everything was too far away from my eyes. But once I put the crisscross on, I put on the blue native wall paint, so I did the most colour. And before that dried, I peeled off the striping tape. I have to admit my application technique is not ideal here at all. I had planned on putting a crystal dot on the tip. And I brought them with me and I filmed them looking gorgeous and everything. There was no way I would have been able to manage to put a singular piece of glitter onto the end of that tip because I had nothing with me to do that with and god knows my fingers are too clumsy to do that small task. Okay, I'm not going for over ambitious today, I'm just going for done. And at this point, that was it. I'd had enough, it would do. Plus I only had an hour to do it in. I definitely didn't let any of the layers dry properly, which we all know is a habit of mine anyway. But once it was done I thought it looked really pretty and it looked so good in the light and you can see it a little bit better when it's out of focus just how hollow it is. I did a comparison shot inside just to show what it looked like under different light levels. The whole time I was outside I was just staring at my hand. Okay this was a short and sweet video. Again this isn't really something for you to learn from, it's something to show what I'm learning more than what you can learn from me. But if you're watching these videos I'm guessing you're enjoying what I have to say. So have a look at what I have to say under the media too. I've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter even, or even better, you can subscribe to these videos and keep watching the stuff that I churn out. And if you wanted to support me creatively, please feel free to visit my Patreon page and consider signing up for some of the rewards that are on offer there. I will see you next time. Bye!